The documentary The People's Republic of the Future was really impressive for me. Its host says it is in its dystopia, but for me it is. Mr. Bloomberg visits the city and shows to us in all its glory and green future. Shenzhen is a thriving city with lots of factories manufacturing electronics devices we all can buy, and even not being aware of their places of manufacture. It became a city only 40 years ago and has 13 million people living in it right now. They are mostly Chinese people from remote areas of the country who would come here and work hard for a couple of years to get a better start off back home. Yet, they make a ship's skilled labor force for Western enterprises as well as Chinese. High-tech parts and equipment is made here. Many entrepreneurs come here to develop prototypes and manufacture ex existing devices and gears since they can also find parts and materials faster and cheaper than anywhere, anywhere else in the whole world. There are factories markets like the Huashinbei market for electronics manufacturers, missing parts or materials, you just name it. This made me wonder about the market for electronics. We see so many new things every day and it is amazing how fast this industry grows and how much we buy it. Yet, how fast we change devices and want new games. It makes me my head spin. Then, I see how many new equipment really help us improve treatments and extend the lifespan of patients and I see the positive side of this tech tech race. They even, mo they even host a contest for engineers, for young talented people. It is futuristic and full of talent and potential. The city has skyscrapers as high as the dream of those who live in it. Many people call Shenzhen the Silicon Valley of China. Startups looking for a fast move and making new things find a perfect place here. Ideas get done. For instance, Hacks is an incubator for people with ideas. They can make their prototype and get, and get connected with factories for their production. Shenzhen Speed is a fast-paced developing rhythm. People feel this is a place where things happen. Some call it one-of-a-kind boom town. Inside the stadium, there is an area for the contest for young engineers. They have a robotic in competition with hundreds of engineering students from around the world. It is like a battle with six kind of robots in teams fostering the creativity of the, maker, of the makers and improving the features of the prototypes. A new generation of innovative engineers is being nourished so China is securing a future in tech industry. Tech know-how, ship manufacturing cost and sheer speed make this perfect ground for companies like DJ1 Drones, they created Phantom and the concept of flying camera. For many it's like living in the future, living complexes next to the factories for workers to work around the clock and in a couple of years buy a better future for their families back home in other areas of China. However, robots are brought into the production line for better quality, less labor costs and to keep China as the tech hub of the world. Robots will send millions of workers into unemployment and this makes life uncertain in this booming city. There is a shadow pervading this prosperous economy. QR codes are dominating the entire economy. This could be a good thing as people don't need cash or cards to pay for products or services. However, QR codes have become a surveillance platform for the government. Insidious instructions into people's lives is a normal thing. It is outrageous to get fined for jaywalking even without authorization. There is a face recognition connected to the payment system, and this is only the tip of the control of the iceberg. Online activity is also supervised by the state, 
and Chinese sites are the available ones, as a mirror web that can, that can be monitored. Yet people use VPNs to access global sites like Instagram or Facebook behind the government's back. The future is uncertain for this city. So many things can go wrong, but people are hopeful, hopeful and it is also very convenient for the world to have this giant input on the electronic market.